why did I turn on the camera if I'm not gonna say anything? Hello, hey girl, how are you doing? It's currently a couple of days away before the solar eclipse that is going to happen. And as an American, I don't know why Americans, I don't know why we believe that like the world revolves around us because it most certainly does not. Like we're gonna have an eclipse and the rest of the world is gonna be fine. But since the eclipse is happening over America, everybody is freaking out. But I've heard a lot of people saying that they're scared about the solar eclipse that's gonna be happening. I'm not in the direct line of the solar eclipse, but I am gonna be experiencing some-ish things, I think of the eclipse, I don't know. Don't, don't look at me like that, I don't know. A lot has been going on, okay? I am learning to speak Hindi. Yes, I am, girl. Are you shocked? Because I'm not. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm just gonna put it out there. My boyfriend's family speaks Hindi and uh, I want to be a part of the conversation, okay? I want to know what we're chitter-chattering about, okay? So I'm learning. I love to talk. Might as well talk in two different languages. Before this video goes any further, I just want to give you guys a sincere apology for the lack of uploads because I have been in a really bad rut of procrastination. I need to edit my Easter vlog. I know, like what the heck can I wear? I still haven't edited my Easter vlog yet and it's well into April, well into April. So I'm currently getting ready for a little date with my boyfriend. So that should be fun, girl. I did go to Sephora. I'm sorry, I'm sorry I didn't tell you. But I did, I went and I only purchased two things. You would have been proud of me. I don't know what's in the air, but I seriously for a second was contemplating whether or not I should go back to the 2016 eyebrow. I was definitely thinking about it for about 12 hours. I'm so used to doing this type of brow that it would be a shocking change. I don't know who I am with my eyebrows filled in regularly. If you take a look at Kim Kardashian's eyebrows, they do not look like mine. You know what I mean? My eyebrows are very much gelled and slicked over, but hers are majestically filled in. But unfortunately, my eyebrows do not have a shape to them. I have to shape them in this manner. I started using this e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. It's pretty good. Some of my girlies may know I have also started using foundation. We love a good foundation. I did purchase this before the Sephora sale, but it was for a good cause. It was for Easter. We're gonna go ahead and do a pump and maybe a half. Why not? We're, we're being festive today. The Makeup by Mario F4 brush. I've come to terms with my skin color, okay? I am very pale and I just have to accept it, okay? I also went through another phase for about 12 hours where I was contemplating going to get some self tanner drops for my face just because I wanted to be tan so bad. I see all the girlies be tanned and I want to be like the girlies and I realized that's just not my life. My life is this. This is who I am. Would I like to get some color at some point? Yes, absolutely. But that's not my journey. I just need to accept it. And it's hard sometimes to accept yourself for who you are and how you are and how your body was made and how everything. I understand that life is all about change, but we don't always have to change. Yes, we do. I don't know what I'm talking about. I realize that sometimes I'm always trying to live in the future, like what I'm gonna be like in the future, but I'm missing out on the now. I'm missing out on how I look now. I'm constantly thinking about, you know, the weight that I eventually want to be when I'm not embracing the weight that I am right now. You know what I mean, Jellybean? 
God's timing is the best timing. I can't think of a better plan than God's plan. Sometimes it's hard to surrender. It's hard to surrender to the plan that God has laid out for us. Everybody in life has a purpose and we might not know what that purpose is until the day that we are face to face with Jesus and he looks at us and he says, hey, this was your purpose and you succeeded or this was your purpose and you failed. I don't wanna be face to face with God and him tell me that I failed. I don't want to get too emotional, love, but I hope you guys realize that the love in the world is because of God and the goodness in the world is because of God and fear and anxiety is from evil. It's not from God. So whenever you feel scared, it's not from God. An example that I can think of right now off the top of my head is, girl, I am 26 years old and I sleep with a nightlight. I am still scared of the dark. I just need to get over it. Not get over it, I need to face it. That's what I need to do. I need to face being comfortable in the dark because of the faith that I have in God. I have faith that God will protect me from all evil. I realize that I'm not scared of the dark itself. I'm scared of what might be in the dark. I'm not afraid of being alone. I'm afraid of not being alone. You know what I mean? Because girl, whether we like to admit it or not, there is good, there is evil, and it's all around us. It's this constant battle of good and evil. And one thing that I do know for sure is that evil hates when the words Jesus Christ is said out loud. And sometimes we do fail to take that moment and just sit with God and to ha have a real conversation and a real relationship with him. Because the last thing we want is to also be face to face with God and for him to say, depart from me for I never knew you. One thing I know for sure about God and his love is that it makes you feel safe and it makes you feel loved and calm. We're all not perfect. I go to church, yes, but you know, I haven't been to confession in a really long time. For those of you who don't know, I'm Catholic. I haven't gone to a Bible study out in my community also in a really long time. But human beings were all just so flawed. And that's why we need to have that relationship with God. To be without God is to be without love. So if you have also been struggling with your relationship with God, just take this as a sign that it's not too late. Natalie, how do we start a relationship with God? Girl, I'm so glad you asked because for the longest time, I felt as if I was praying the correct way. But this, if I can find it, is a way that you can start building your relationship with God and it's very easy, it's very step-by-step, step. it's how to pray. And even now, as I'm recording this video, I need to desperately revisit that. I know for sure a couple of, of the first steps to beginning your prayer with God is to mention three things that you are grateful for and also some things that you need to work on. It's also very important to just be thankful because God is so powerful and merciful, he is the reason we wake up in the morning. I know on my YouTube channel, I definitely talk about God a lot more than I do on my TikTok. And that is something that I'm going to change today. I'm also going to be filming a TikTok video talking about God and how amazing he is. And I just want to spread the word more. Another thing I wanna mention is no one's life has ever gotten worse because they started talking to God more and following the word of God and reading the Bible. No one's life has ever gotten worse. Your life can only get better with Jesus Christ in your life. Girl, someone needed to hear this today because I'm going 
off. Anyway, girl, thank you so much for coming to my TED Talk. <laughs>